guys, so today's video is going to be one of my favorite videos to prepare for and to film for you guys, and that is a Sephora haul, but I'm sure you knew that by the title, so. I'm really excited to share these goodies with you guys. I've had these actually sitting up on my jewelry chest for a really long time, like a couple weeks now, um, and I'm finally just getting around to doing this, so. I have actually a lot of repurchases in here and I also have some new products as well. I didn't go too crazy because some of the new products I wanted to try, I wasn't hearing like that great of reviews, like the Urban Decay blushes. So if you've tried the new like Urban Decay blushes, let me know what you think of them down below. Okay, so the first thing that I purchased that was repurchased is this Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Dry Spun Finish Spray. I love this because it's a great kind of texturizing, volumizing mist. And all you do is you just shake it up a little bit and you spray it all over your hair, which I haven't done anything to my hair. This is just blow dried hair, you know, I didn't feel like doing it. Um, but this smells so good. It has so much texture to your hair and a lot of volume. So after I'm done curling my hair, I usually like to top it off with this. And for me, I feel like it does keep the curls locked in for a really long time. And yeah, I just really, really love it. So BB Thickening Dry Fun Dry Finishing Spray. This stuff right here. It's good. So this next repurchase is actually something that I can't live without. I tried weaning myself off of it and I went right back to it because I just think it's amazing. It's the Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. You've probably heard me talk about this before, but, oh, hello. White boxes just never show up on camera very well. So this is an exfoliator with an orange extract. This is for all skin types. I have very, very oily skin and I really love this. I've actually been using this, so some of it's uh, gone as you can see but this stuff is so amazing I had to go like a week and a half without an exfoliator because I have very sensitive skin and I can't use the ones from the drugstore because every single one that I've tried has broke me out I'm currently breaking out because I decided to try self tanner on my face which was not a smart idea and my skin's mad at me so anyways I can't really try like drugstore ones just because my skin is so used to high-end skincare and the ingredients. I just, I use the same products all the time right now and I've been using them for the past like six months or so. I love this. It's good stuff. I literally felt such a difference because I could feel like the dead skin on my face within that week and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so gross. But the moment I went in with this, I'm telling you, you could just feel all that dead skin just come right off your face and your face is so smooth I love it okay so this is something that I was wearing and now I can't find it because it's like in my purse somewhere I checked my purse but it's not my purse but the last place I remember putting it was in my purse so I have no idea where it is but I do love this and the color it's the Too Faced Melted Chihuahua Liquefied Longwear Lipstick I love these liquid lipsticks I have quite a few of them they're my favorite and I love this color it's just that pinky mauve nude and it's beautiful so Hopefully I can find it because I'm not purchasing another one. Okay, oh, this is something I found at the little checkout line and I'm obsessed with this because I love her big translucent powder. The Laura Mercier Deluxe Mini Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Mini Puff. It's literally the cutest thing ever and I love translucent powders even on the go as long as they have a puff. I still have my Givenchy one that I'm so obsessed with. Like, it's, it's beautiful. It keeps you so matte. It's just the best powder ever. I'm thinking of buying another one because right now mine's in my Jeep and it doesn't come out of my car. Like it stays in my Jeep or in my um, purse and I need to buy another one to keep up here to like set my makeup. I think I really need to buy another one. I don't want to spend the money on it but I need another one to like keep up here because that powder is so good. But anyways, so this is just the mini version of her loose transparent powder and I believe this puff, all oh, this puff doesn't fit in it. That sucks. That sucks. I wish the puff would fit in there, but it doesn't look like it's going to fit in there. See, my Givenchy one came with a puff, but it fits in the container. So it doesn't get like overly dirty with things in, in, in the world. That sucks, and it I mean it barely fits in there. So I'm just gonna have to use a brush with this, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks exactly like the Mama one, but just ten times smaller. 
This is another repurchase for my super dry skin. If you've watched me for a while, I've mentioned this so many times. It's the L'Occitane Ultra Rich Body Cream Rich in Shea Butter. And this stuff is so good. I'm telling you, it's just like the best thing ever invented. Best body butter. Oh, I always do that. I always sit there and like poke this. And, I'm, and I literally look to the side and I see this little flap and I'm like, oh. So much easier. It just smells clean, so it doesn't interfere with your perfume or anything if you want to wear perfume um, with this. It doesn't interfere with any of that, and a little bit goes a long way, and it is such a thick cream. Like, it's so, so thick. You see that? Like, nothing, nothing coming out. It's a really thick body cream, but I'm telling you, if you have super dry skin like the only areas I have dry skin is on my body that's because I really suck at lotioning my skin after showering I'm sorry but I do I suck I sometimes I'm just like in a rush and don't feel like doing it um but when I need to go in and moisturize I will use this and it like transforms my skin my skin will be so dry and dehydrated and then I'll put this on and it's like a whole another ball game like it just makes my skin glow I love it the next thing I repurchased is this Tarte high performance maracuja neck cream and I really love this for my neck now as you get older you can really tell you're aging by your neck and your chest if you don't take good care of it um, even just naturally you're gonna age um, on your decollete and everything so it's good just to go ahead and take care of it and moisturize and kind of prevent it even though I suck at moisturizing we've already established this so this is what it looks like it's just a little jar like this it's really cute this again is a really thick and heavy cream and for me I feel like it really kind of blurs out the lines and blurs any imperfections I have on my neck and my chest I forget where I was at because my camera just cut me off because it's rude so anyways um, I really really do love this though it's a nice thick moisturizing cream that I think will be great in the long run and yeah I've purchased the second one so I must like it it must be real good I, I saw this and I was like I miss you. I gotta have you back in my life. And it is the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I just used to love this stuff, man. Right when it first came out, I used the whole entire tube up. So I wanted to get back into it because I missed it. I've got large pores and I hate them. I hate having pores because pores are just annoying and I mean, if you even use the wrong foundation, your pores will just look so bad. Like, even worse if you have large pores, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I could really tell a difference between using this and not using it. And I think that this, along with my favorite primer water by them of the moment, I think this two will be, like, a really good combo. So, I'm excited about that. And then the last repurchase is actually this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium One Custard. I always use this for right on the bridge of my nose if you watch my videos. Um, I love it for my nose. I feel like it lasts a really long time. I don't like it underneath my eyes though. Just for some reason, I just, I, I can't like it. I feel like it looks a little thick. I don't know what it is, but I just love it for my nose. I've been using it constantly. And wait, are these different? Oh no, they're the same size. I was like, wait, what? This looked smaller for some reason. But you can see, and th this is my old tube, and I'm like scraping the sides of it. I swatched these in store and I was obsessed with them and let me first tell you I love the like gradient packaging of this like hello that is the color combo they decided to go with is beautiful so this is the color liar and I got two nudes obviously because I wanted to try them out before I purchased any other ones but I love the packaging of these new Urban Decay lipsticks or lip glosses I'm sorry I was really hesitant when I was walking up to these because I swatched the naked skin lip glosses and I was like no those are so sheer. Why do you even have multiple colors of that? Because you can't even see it on the lips. I was pleasantly surprised by these. So, yeah, again, this one is Liar. Let's just do one stroke. Okay, maybe two. <laughs> so that's Liar. Isn't it so pretty? It's just a darker mauve pink nude. It's just, it's so beautiful. I love this so much, and it's so pigmented. And the other one I got, which is one of my favorites as well, it's called Kinky. Kinky is definitely a lighter version of this and a little bit more pink but it's very pretty I actually might put it on right now because I put on creme de nude and then a darker gloss over it but I just cannot stand creme de nude anymore y'all I used to be so obsessed with that lipstick and now I can't I can't rock with it anymore it's too light but this one again is kinky so that's kinky you can see it's just like a lighter more pink version of liar but I really like it and these 
don't really smell like anything in my, in my opinion. They're really smooth. Mmm. They're like super smooth. I could like rub my lips all day with that. So awesome. Um, oh, I also got this because I plan on traveling. Some more within the next like week or two. So I got this because if you watched my glowy skin for oil, glowy glowy skin, <laughs> if you watched my glowy makeup for oily skin video, I use the Argon Illuminizer, which is like her liquid one by Josie Marin. And I saw this one in the store and I was like, that would be so perfect for traveling. It's basically like the same exact thing, but in a stick form. So let me show you. So you can see right there, it's that gorgeous luminizer that's just so stunning. And I just, I love it. So that's it right there. I just love the fact that they put it in a stick form because the other one, the, the liquid one, sometimes in that bottle, it squeezes out too much and you do not need a lot of that product at all. Okay, so the last two things I have to show you guys are bronzers because I can't seem to go into Sephora and not get a bronzer every single time. I don't know what it is. This is the Stila All Day Bronzer for Face and Body. This is in the shade Medium. I really like this shade because it has a more of an ashy tone to it. This is what the packaging looks like. It's okay. I mean, it's nothing crazy good. You know what I'm saying? But it has a huge, huge mirror. As you can see, it's like the size of my face. And yeah, this is again more of an ashy uh, bronzer, which I really like. I could use this for so many different things. Use it to contour. I could also use it to bronze. But that's what it looks like. I would use it more as a contour shade than I would bronzing. Yeah, and it seems really, really smooth and easy to blend. So I'm really excited to try that out. And then the last thing... Did I hit Rose? I did not. The last thing I got is this Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection Face Contouring and Highlighting Kit. And I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be such a great palette. This is what it looks like. It has a nice little mirror in here. Don't look at my dirty, dirty desk. Then you have Light Cocoa, Medium Cocoa, Dark Cocoa, and Pop of Light. And then this bomb little brush right here, which I'm excited to use because it's a really nice angled little kabuki, which would be great to really kind of buff in some product right here. Okay, so here are all the shades swatch. Again, light cocoa, medium cocoa, dark cocoa, and then pop of light. And yeah, medium is definitely gonna be more of a contour shade for me. Dark would be more of a bronzer with like a stippling brush. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And also, speaking of contour palettes, I have one coming to you very soon, a review on one that I'm obsessed with and I've been using constantly. It's on my desk right now from when I did my makeup today and I love it. So keep an eye out for that. If you want a tutorial on this look, let me know. It's very dramatic, smoky, cool tone on the eyes, warm with the face because I'm really weird. I like warm faces with cool toned eyes. I don't know. That's just what I dig. So yeah, let me know if you want to see a tutorial and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried the Urban Decay blushes, if you like them, if you don't. You know, what have you heard? Because I've heard such mixed things that I can't decide. I will see you guys in just a couple days with a new video. And thank you again so much for watching. And check out my vlog channel. I'm about to post another vlog today, too. So I'll leave that down below at the end of this video. Okay, bye. It's just a bit of this. Oh, my God. Look at that. 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 I'm just gonna take all this and crumple it under the wall.